come up for a message? Ladies, good morning. I missed you guys. So glad you're back. You've come up on a very special morning. Natalie, you're missing out. Maybe not. Because I want you to ask me for whatever is on your heart. Think of something, if it were possible to have, that you would want right now. What? If, if dad and mom took you to the store and said, go at it, girls, what would you pick out? Food. F- what kind of food? <laughs> Fruits. Oh, come on, that's a politically correct answer. You want a great big honking cheeseburger that's all greasy and, no? Pizza? A mango. Okay. You don't know. Do you like to play video games? What video game don't you have that you would really want? A new what? A new basketball? Okay, fair enough. Natalie, anything? Sleep. Sleep. Fair enough. Okay, it's your lucky day, girls, because, well, I may not have exactly what you asked for, but you know what? I have what you really need. Roll of toilet paper. <laughs> and if you don't think you need that, just go in the bathroom sometimes and have there not be any. I have something for you, Madeline. You guys go out to, to eat after dinner, right? Or after church, right? Here. You can put leftovers in that when you take them home. Isn't that great? Of course, there, there's nothing in it, but you'll put something in it and you can take it home and you'll be all set. Yeah, you're, yeah you guys can barter after worship, okay? And Natalie, well, I haven't forgotten you. I have the best thing of all for you. You ready? Here it is. A paving stone. Just what you always wanted. So now when the wind blows, your papers won't fly away. Isn't that great? Or if you want something that your sisters have, I guess you could throw it at them. No, no, don't do that. (laughs) Dad, she took his, her toilet paper. All right. How were those gifts? Were they good? Yeah. No, they weren't. They weren't really good gifts. They, they weren't what you really asked for, were they? Your parents probably do a much better job giving you gifts than I do. They give you, well, not what you always want, but what you need. You have clothes. Even though they have holes in the knees, I'm going to guess that that's what you wanted anyway. You have clothes. You have food. You have a house to live in. It's cool in the summer, it's hot in the winter. You have what you need, don't you? Of course, there's somebody who does a much better job of giving us what we truly need than me or even your parents, and that is children's message answer? Yeah, actually God. God gave us Jesus, whom we really, really need. And you think about it, did he wait for you to ask for Jesus? No. Jesus came and faith came into your heart before you could ever ask for it. Before you ever really realized you needed it. Before you admitted that, hey, I'm a sinner who needs a Savior. God had Jesus come before you were born and die on the cross and in your baptism gave you the faith to hold fast and believe in it. That's some awesome giving, isn't it? And along with everything else that you have in your life, that you're holding in your hand really is a gift from Jesus. People made it with the knowledge that he gives. That toilet paper made with the knowledge that he gives from trees that he grew, and that paving stone, gift from Jesus. Everything is a gift from Jesus. And he continues to give you great and wondrous gifts because he keeps you in faith. And perhaps that's why he doesn't give you everything that you ask for. If we received everything we asked for, have you ever known a, a, somebody you, you know from school or a friend that gets everything they ask for? What kind of a person are they? They're mean. They're spoiled. God doesn't give us everything we ask for because he wants us to be loving and kind and gracious. 
He promises this. He will never give you or allow you to have anything that will take faith away from Jesus in your life. And everything that he gives you and allows to happen to you is aimed toward you keeping your faith in Jesus. And that's his greatest gift, that continued gift of faith in your life. You can keep those gifts if you want. You can turn them back into me after worship, whatever you like. But let's pray and thank God for these gifts and the most gracious gifts that he's given us. So repeat after me. Dear Jesus, Jesus, thank you you. for all the wondrous gifts gifts you give to us. us. Those that we didn't ask for. Those that that we've never thanked you for. And especially especially for the gift of your son, son. Jesus Jesus Christ. And the continued faith to believe in him. And for the eternal life to come. Thank you. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you, ladies. You can head back to your seats.